Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So excited for all of this baby content. The first two videos, you guys seem to really like it. I'm so excited. I've never had like two back-to-back -back videos perform that well. So it makes me happy that you guys like to see all this baby content because let me tell you, I have so many ideas and things that I want to do. I'm like really into YouTube. The first like YouTubers that got me into it was the Ace family and I loved watching her pregnancy journey and like the whole the whole thing you know like I like watching Juju and Des, Nazan Kavari, I said it a million times, she's my favorite vlogger. Um, so it was only right once I found out I was pregnant I was like oh my god I can't wait to do the Old Wives Tales gender prediction video so this is what this is going to be. Um, obviously this isn't a proven science or anything and it doesn't mean that this is what I'm going to have but it's just fun way it's just a fun way to like figure out like okay like what are these like old wives tales like leaning towards it's going to be majority boy it's going to be majority girl I don't know so I'm really really excited I actually do have the envelope right here this is from my doctor in Monterey I was recently there um I've been keeping up with appointments out there but this is my last one because I have like a really secure set doctor here in PR so I yeah that was my last appointment so she gave me the gender in this one and then the day that I flew back to Puerto Rico I had my doctor's appointment and just to play it safe because my godmother told me how with her first pregnancy they told her she was having a girl that got everything pink and when it came out it was ended up being my god brother a boy so I was like oh heck no like I don't like this needs to be like double checked so my doctor in Puerto Rico I had her check the gender as well so boom but Iramcito he's gonna be taking this to um, a baker ASAP no Rocky he's probably gonna be going tomorrow uh, to go give it to a baker we told them just we want a simple little cake pink if it's a girl blue if it's a boy and it's just gonna be me and him super intimate at the beach finding out but enough rambling you guys let's just get right into the video I'm so excited if you're new here I'm Karina Rojas and I live in Puerto Rico I'm from Cali and if you're back um, welcome back um, thank you for showing your support and like you know engaging in these videos don't forget to hit that like button down below share it if you're new here subscribe you gotta subscribe turn on your post notifications because the gender prediction not the gender prediction the actual gender reveal is gonna be coming out like I think I'm coming out with it this Sunday so let's get right into it guys I never updated you so last you saw I was in the car waiting for my appointment it was the day after Thanksgiving and I had confirmation text confirmation emails long story short I get there and there's signs that say that they're not open till the 27th and I traveled all the way from PR out here to make the appointment so I'm just like oh my god I have to go t call blah, blah, blah. I have to go tomorrow which is Monday and see if they can get me in Monday or Tuesday just because like the huge inconvenience of having to take it eight hour flight over here and them not plan it correctly but anyways i want to show you guys this really cute outfit maternity vibes maternity clothes so here it is i'm still not used to let me turn the light on i'm still not used to seeing myself like this like i'm so in my head if i'm like showing too much i'm about to be six months pregnant i can't believe it it's like time is moving so fast this is the little vibe we got going on. It's just so crazy, you guys. I feel like, like reinvented. Like I already feel like I'm evolving. Like it's just so crazy. But here's the baby bump. I've been feeling it like crazy, you guys. The other day I forgot. Good thing I ordered a tall at Starbucks peppermint mocha. I forgot to get decaf, and it hit me later that night because I felt something when I was walking with the with the coffee and I was like oh my god like it felt like it did like a somersault in there so my baby is super active you guys super active we still don't know what it is but wish me luck that I get an appointment out here in Monterey if not I have an appointment the 30th so whatever but anyways I'm about to go head out I'm meeting with my aunt from my mo my mother's side to go eat some brunch going to first awakenings if you know you know but yeah all right, you guys, we're going to try this again today. I have my doctor's appointment. Look how funny, like from the front, you can't really tell that much, like depending if you get the, the right angle with like a selfie on your phone, but it's when I go to the side, like you could definitely tell I'm starting to show. And I just can't believe that I've actually been keeping this secret more than half of the way. Ooh, my voice. 
and I'm so excited now to just like have the world know and then like post all this like pregnancy content I had no footage of me and my mom like when I was in her belly I don't know nothing about her pregnancy I went so I need to do a pregnancy journal document everything so I have a dentist appointment first and then we're going to Selena's to do the the 20 week um anatomy scan I think it is it's basically where they look at everything of the baby like details from like wrist to elbow elbow to shoulder so I'm like so excited and then today they should be giving me that envelope what the gender is it's been a few weeks now and the baby every time I go has its legs crossed and is like no 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 I got a few um baby stuff I'll show you guys later but it's like neutrals some of it's more on the boyish side but I just want to know already so let's go you guys all right you guys so I have the questions here on my phone boom I know everyone usually on YouTube they get this big whiteboard and they write them down and they also do it with their partner I don't have a whiteboard I didn't feel like getting one just for the sake of the video and I'm never gonna use it again and my baby daddy Doncito, he is out at work getting that bag so I just figured I couldn't wait to coordinate you know schedules and all that I just wanted to like do this video already so but a lot of these we've like we've like kept track of them together we did the ring test together but I'm gonna be doing that again for you guys on camera but okay he or she use these old wives tales to predict what the baby's gender will be hold on I need water drink your water mm. And having a cute cup to drink it out of all the time, I feel like it motivates you to drink more water. <laughs> okay, so first question, or first old wives tale is cravings. Salty or sweet? So I've definitely, definitely been craving sweets all the way. Like, I never usually have a sweet tooth this bad. I'm usually more of like a hot Cheetos girl. Like, let's get hot Cheetos or like, I don't know, I like cheesy stuff, things like that. But lately, you guys, I just want sweets. I had the weirdest random craving the other day, or the other week. I wanted a Rice Krispie Treat. It was so weird. Like, I haven't had a Rice Krispie Treat in, like, freaking years. And randomly, I was, like, telling him, like, I really want a Rice Krispie Treat. And he delivered. <laughs> and I put peanut butter on top. Oh, so good. So good. What was another thing that was sweet that I was craving? Oh, cheesecake. Like, classic New York-style cheesecake. Craving that as well. So, definitely sweet. So, that indicates girl so let's add a point for girl uh morning sickness so no if it's a boy yes if it's a girl uh no morning sickness whatsoever i didn't throw up at all in my pregnancy so that's really really good um yeah my first trimester was really smooth you guys saw the whole video about that and if you didn't i posted it before this one so go check it out uh sleeping on left side or right side left side if it's a boy right side if it's a girl uh, I've definitely been sleeping on my left side uh, and I think I've always slept on my left side I don't know maybe it was like kind of half and half but I do sleep on my left side a lot because I did read it's better for like the circulation with the baby flow and everything like that I don't know I just heard it's better so I kind of like made myself start sleeping on my left side and now it's just like I always wake up on my left side um, mom's complexion so it's been super clear and that indicates um, boy, so point for boy. The pregnancy glow that you hear like on movies and shows and stuff like that, it is so real, you guys. So for a while, our AC has been broken. Like for more than a month, it's been broken. And Puerto Rico is hot as balls, humid, sticky, yucky. I haven't been putting lotion on my belly. I haven't been doing my skincare because I, I refuse to have those like gels and creams and oils on my skin and know that I'm going to be sweating so I haven't done no skincare in the shower I've like I've been meaning to go to the store and get more face wash but I just haven't I just been literally just putting my regular dove bar and my skin I don't have like one breakout one nothing my skin has never been so clear in my whole life well probably when I was really religious about my skincare but just the fact that I'm not doing any skincare I'm eating chocolate and chocolate usually makes me break out it's like pregnancy glow is real so that's a point for boy complexion has been super clear um oh side note so a lot of people in my family and Edam, they think i'm having a boy and i have heard like numerous times that like the boys let the mom have their moment and shine thicker longer hair 
super clear, beautiful, radiant skin, that glow, and then the girls kind of take beauty away from you. So like, I don't know if that's another indication that I'm having a boy, but let's keep going. Uh, foot size, increased or the same? So it has stayed the same. I'm a six, six and a half, depending on like what type of shoe it is. You know, shoe sizes are super weird. But that indicates girl, so let's put a point for girl. A uh, heartbeat. So every single doctor's appointment I had, it's over 140. So that indicates girl. I even got, let me show you guys, this. Well, my dad got me this. I was so excited. This is the fetal Doppler, so you can check the heartbeat whenever you want. You know, so like in my case, always being like super anxious. Like, is the baby okay? Is the baby okay? And having to wait in between appointments, it can get like really like just not a good time you just be stressing yourself out but that definitely helps and every time we use that same thing it's always over one uh 140 so if it's over 140 heart rate indicates girl so that's a point for girl uh headaches yes boy no girl so no haven't got no headaches like my pregnancy has been super smooth uh emotions chill or moody i've been super chill so i don't feel like I always hear about like your hormones or like all crazy and all these other things but mine I've been like super normal and chill but I must say I completely forgot what I was gonna say pregnancy brain is real if you guys don't know what pregnancy brain is there's like a scientific explanation with the hormones and blah 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 and even after you have your baby you have like pregnancy brain or like baby brain I don't even know but pregnancy brain <laughs> I literally forgot what I was gonna say carrying baby low or high so I've been told that I'm carrying it high and I thought that meant boy originally but I guess where I got confused is if you're sh if you're having a boy supposedly it's more of like a just a basketball round shape and it just looks like it's coming out the front with the girl you're more wide and it's kind of growing everywhere which let's hope I don't grow like that if I am having a girl so I've been I would say I'm carrying the baby high, and that means girl, so point for girl. Uh, da, 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 da. Temperature, cold or hot? I would say cold. Like at night, my feet be freezing, you guys, and I'm usually super hot, and I'm not acclimated at all to Puerto Rico's weather, and I'm always like super sweaty, super complaining, three, four showers a day here in Puerto Rico. But I must say, like, it was weird. The other day we went uh, walking on the track, and I wasn't sweating. I was like, this is super weird. I've been able to, like, handle the my temp my body temperature better. So I would say cold, which indicates boy. So point for boy. Uh, dad's weight. Same or gained? I guess it's like a, another, I keep saying scientific, but it's like a fact. Not a fact, but I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's a thing that dads will gain weight during pregnancy. It's like sympathy weight. Like, something about them preparing to be a provider or, like, I don't know. Some some explanation, right? But if he's gaining weight, it's a girl. And if he stay the same boy. And my man, he'll even tell you he has gained a little bit of weight since I've been pregnant. Probably because uh, we've been eating all the sweets together. But that's a point for girl. Uh, balance. Clumsy or graceful? I'm always clumsy. So that's nothing new, but like, I guess I'll take the question as like, have I been more clumsy or more um, graceful and balanced? So I would, I would say I'm just kind of like the same. So let's do graceful, which is girl. Point for girl. Oh God, you guys, I feel like a, there's so many points for girls. And I personally feel that I'm having, oh wait, that's another one. Let's, let's wait for what I was about to say. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, skin texture dry or soft so my skin has been really 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 dry so let's do a point for boy um, yeah I feel like usually I don't have to worry about putting lotion like on a typical I know like it's good to I probably only put lotion like if I'm like going out and it's a base for my perfume but as far as like being a religious lotion user which I should be I'm not and my skin usually is not, is like perfectly fine with me not putting lotion. I'll still feel hydrated and my skin won't be dry. But since I've been pregnant, my skin is like super dry. Like my, I could tell like crazy in my hands. I'm like, oh my God, I need lotion. Okay, next old lifestyle is dad's intuition. So daddy, of course, thinks we're having a boy. <laughs> he wants a boy really, really bad. And honestly, I do too. My dad wants a boy. He thinks I'm having a boy. And I think a little Edam Sito would just be so special. Just the fact that 
he's really close to his grandparents and they're like a lot older you know that it would be so cute and special for them to like have a little little version of Edam walking around just so they could see that you know like in their in their later years just experience that but honestly I'll, I'll be happy with either or in the beginning I was like it's a girl and he'd be like it's a boy and I'm like it's a girl and he's like it's a boy but then eventually as time went going on like I started to feel I'm like dang like I, I actually feel like I might be having a boy and just because my first trimester was so smooth and then that my skin complexion was clear my hair is growing thick and long and fast those indications made me feel like I was having a boy but then I had two dreams they were like probably a week or a week and a half apart where I had dreams that I was having girls first dream it was like super like I didn't give it much thought because basically what happened in the dream I had said like she and because I said she I was like oh my god it might be a girl second dream I had like a vivid this one I remember super clear I was walking with like a little toddler and I was holding her little hand and she was looking up to me and it was, she was like the cutest little girl ever so I was like oh my god like my godmother told me she's like have you had any dreams yet I'm like no she's like you should have I did with mine I'm like well I'm waiting <laughs> but I did have the dreams and she was like well shoot you'll have them and they'll tell you what you're having so I don't know but point for a boy because dad thinks he's having a boy mom's intuition I I'm confused like I kind of like I okay I'll say boy because lately I've been feeling like I'm having a boy the girl dreams confuse me where I, I was like mm, maybe I am having a girl originally I wanted a girl but let's just go with point boy and then the ring test so let me look up the ring test tie the string around your ring and then place it over your pregnant belly so that the ring hangs down if the ring swings back and forth, it supposedly means you're having a boy. However, if the ring goes in a circle, you're supposed to be having a girl. So, let's do the ring test. Okay, so for the ring test, you're supposed to use one of your own hairs. So, let's just pull one of these bad boys out. And then use a ring that you always wear. This is my promise ring that Edom got me when he first asked me to be his girlfriend. So, you just put it in through here. I'm gonna take this over to the bed, lay down, and then let's see if it says boy or girl. Also, we need to do the Chinese calendar. I didn't forget about that. All right, you guys, this isn't the cutest angle, but we're gonna go for it. <laughs> so if it goes in a circle, it's a girl, and if it goes in a straight line back and forth, then it means boy, so let's see. Oh, do you see that? <laughs> Hold on. I'm not even moving the string and that's it's going in a circle. Okay, let's put it down and retry it. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Circle. Okay you guys, Edam's here now and look at that. It's a circle. It's a circle, so that means girl. I don't know. Okay, so as you guys saw according to the ring test, it says girl. And it's funny because I googled it this time and it says if it's a circle, it's a girl and if it's a straight line, it's a boy. And I don't know where I read or what video I saw, but originally the first time we did it, um, I thought we were having a boy. It's been, a, it's been in a circle that past time too, but in our heads we thought that meant boy, so, but supposedly that means girl. So let's put a point for the girl. And then the last thing that I really wanted to do was the Chinese gender chart. So basically you put in your due date and then... Um, your birth date and it calculates it and according to the legendary Chinese gender chart and I heard this is super accurate it says I'm having a girl so there we go another point for girl I'm gonna tally all these up and see which one has more points hold on all right you guys results are in even though you guys have been keeping track the whole time the scoreboards up here uh, it's supposed to be a girl. Girls won. It's 9-8, so that's still super close, so it's kind of like, uh. But honestly, every single YouTube video that I've watched of other YouTubers doing this, it always became, it always was accurate, basically. So whatever the video, the scoreboard won, that's usually what they had. So, we'll see. Uh, the official gender reveal is going to be dropping this Sunday, and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. That way you can finally, like, refer to it as, like, she, he. But anyways, this was fun to do. Um, 
Either way, we're gonna be really happy with what we get. As long as it's healthy and strong and growing, we are happy campers. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching and for showing all the love and support and all the congratulations that I've been receiving. It's so nice just to get that warm welcome. Anyways, like this video, share it. I can't stress this enough. Subscribe, we need more subscribers. But I will see you guys Sunday. Bye. Yeah.